Hunt with passion. Never stop casting. Chase the dream. Welcome to Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Brought to you by Joe Booker Outdoors. Number one in big game fish products. So, we're, uh, we're about 40 minutes out of moonrise. It's cloudy, we got storms coming in this afternoon. It's like scary time to be out musky fishing because of just how dangerous this looks out here for a big musky to eat. We're gonna start off on a musky that uh, my clients raised just a day ago, and hopefully old SN will be setting the hooks into her first muskie. It's probably gonna be really big, and uh, we'll see what happens. Like, as big as you. It's probably gonna be as big as her. So stay tuned here, guys. It's uh, late June. It's a Monday, and nobody's out here because everybody else is working, and I'm so thankful that this is my job, and I've got my sidekick here to help put some big fish in the boat. All right, guys, stay tuned on this episode. You won't want to miss this. going on some good uh, good stuff to cook and that you can post and everything, you know? Got a fish. Big fish, too. All right. Oh, boy. I think it's big stuff. Yep. I... No. Just hang tight. Get your rod. Fish. Actually, bring that net over here a little bit. All right, bring it over on this side, stuff you can. Oh my god, stuff. Get it off that. Get it off. Step. All right, give me. All right, get ready to give me that net, okay? Watch that cleat. Give me. We got her! Oh my god! Steph, nice job! Holy schmoly! We got her, it's a hog dude! Nice job! Alright guys, well, out with Steph, and we got the one we wanted! This is the wall! Look at the girth on this fish, guys! <laughs> this is the one we've been, we've been after all week! Oh my gosh, it's been following and following and following and following! And we got her! Grape flame scores on a big old musky. Beautiful fish. Mean green machine. Let's get this big girl back and we'll tell you the story on how we got her. Awesome. All right, guys, well, officially, welcome to our musky segment, and let me introduce to you my co-partner today and co-host of the Musky Mastery Show. It's my girlfriend. She's the musky queen, Stephanie Sen. What's up, baby? <laughs> guys, could you ask for a better net partner? I mean, could you ask for a better musky partner? I can't. So glad to be out here with her. And guys, we caught, we caught another big fish. And no surprise, I mean, it's on the great flame 500 booker tail. But Steph, so we just filmed a vlog about this today. You can see we got this wind. It's our environmental change, right? 
what I was talking about. Yes, we talked <laughs> about this this morning in a vlog we shot in the garage when it was raining. And here's what we did on this fish. Folks, this is a muskie that just yesterday morning, one of my clients and actually two previous clients have raised and raised that muskie. We never saw the size on this fish whatsoever. It only came up on side imaging. It never showed itself, but we knew it was there. And both times this muskie showed itself to us on the side imaging, it was under sunning conditions. It was a bluebird skies. It wasn't really ideal. Yesterday was an east wind. And now we've got this southeast wind. And we've got, instead of the sunny skies we, we raised that muskie under, now we've got just overcast. We've got rain coming in the distance. I mean, this is just, this is, it's, it's typical musky weather. And what did we do? We returned to the musky we knew was there under environmental change with the same lure, same lure she followed in with. Now, I had Steph throw in the top rater on the old Mojo Muskie 610, which I thought a lot of times they follow the blade, you'll get them on top rater. So we're, we're trying the top water. But again, she, she did end up grabbing the old 500 grape flame. So that's, that's the one part of this whole thing is returning on a muskie under environmental change. Mm -hmm. Number two. The moon. Hey, here she is, she's so good. The moon, it, moonrise was 7.40, or no, sorry, geez. Moonrise was 2.42 p.m. And we started fishing that spot at two o'clock to give us, you know, that certain, the particular spot we're fishing, uh, that reef takes about 45 minutes to fish. So I figure, look, let's go there early beforehand and make sure that when we get to that fish it's getting close to moonrise so we had two big time factors in our in our favor there environmental change and a moon phase and again we returned on a muskie we knew that fish was there it had been patrolling that reef for uh, a number of days and we scored and again you, you watch this video and you see the communication i really needed steph's help to grab that big net i mean we got it tangled in this tangled in that but hey we got the muskie in the boat. We got the photos. We we did a fan. You did a fantastic job. So there you have it, guys. Another another wonderful 500 series great flame. I should tell you about the the equipment real quick, right? Should we yeah. tell them about it? Yeah, we should. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know. By the way, look at this Michigan State hat. By the way, Stephanie guys, Green. Stephanie guys and gals, just to introduce her to you on the show. Stephanie is a dietitian and she works at one of the major hospitals in the Chicagoland area. She is. Um, and she's actually starting another a, a company, Sue Chef with Steph. We should tell them about that later because yeah. you musky mastery folks are going to really like what Steph's cooking up in the kitchen. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but I got to tell them a little bit about you. But uh, let's talk about the uh, the gear here, guys. 80 pound test, Joe Booker Outdoors Beast Braid, it's braided line. This is the 11 inch steel leader with a ball bearing, ball bearing swivel there on top. And you'll see that I cut off the snap. This is a split ring directly to the 500 Booker tail. Um, I believe this is the 535 981. I will leave that in the description. That's the model leader. We've got a Daiwa uh, 400 HS bait caster. I love this. And then of course, this is, I mean, it's probably probably my all-time favorite muskie rod. This is St. Croix's nine foot medium heavy legend elite fast action. This is just, it's the best bucktail. It's the best bucktail rod in the business. There's no doubt about it. It's so versatile and, and you saw on that fish, you needed it. She was fighting me around the bow. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Steph and I are going to go catch another fish. Steph's got to get on her first musky today. I think it might come in the top raider because we got the conditions for it, but she's going to be throwing the, the, the grape flame too. So guys, thanks for watching. Thanks again to all the subscribers out there. You guys are the best. We love your questions, your comments, your this and that. We're going to try to do a, 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 you know, the best job we can about answering your questions, getting videos out there you guys and gals out there want. So as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Season 4 of Musky Mastery Outdoors. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting and educational musky and multi-species action.